Hi everyone, my name is Joyce Weizhou Chen and I'm a native of Taiwan. I'm currently a doctoral candidate in the departments of music and interdisciplinary humanities at Princeton University. Today, I would like to share with you the core of my dissertation titled Musica Experimentia Experimentum, which investigates how our experience of music and understanding of the sound are interrelated by three aspects, acoustics, aesthetics, and artisanal knowledge. I have been a professional harpsichordist since 2011 and have performed and competed nationally and internationally in numerous festivals and competitions. I was always struck by the diverse aesthetic taste among musical interpretations and instruments. I believe that by understanding the underlying psychology and physics of music and sound production, we can facilitate changes and revolution, not only in scholarships, but also in music industry. When the COVID pandemic happened, it was right before my dissertation research trip in Europe. Instead of traveling, I decided to pursue one of my lifelong dreams of making a harpsichord. And here's a clip of the instrument I just finished putting together last month. Harpsichord, I also secured a coveted apprenticeship with Zuckerman Harpsichord International in Stonington, Connecticut, and I was there for a total of four months. It was a rather steep learning curve because I didn't even know how to use any power tools, and I had to learn how to sand properly by hand first before using a bell sander. Because of working primarily by hand, I started uh, paying attention to sensory nuances. I learned to feel the subtleties of how our keyboards bounce differently which has influenced how I play the instruments drastically. Many acoustical principles, such as the vibrating modes of a string, are also demonstrated on a musical instrument. If the harpsichord is strung improperly, the location of optimal plucking point may change, thus creating a less bright and less resonant sound. So how is my instrument making project relevant in the broader scheme of art and culture? Well, the current industry relies on a prescribed set of aesthetics and working mechanism, from hiring personnel, marketing, to utilizing instruments. If the basic core of our understanding of music cannot be demystified, how can we make classical music a more equitable, inclusive, and diverse field? I'm not the first woman to build harpsichord, but I feel empowered to be able to design and take part in every single construction of my instrument. It is especially interesting to see the visual effect of an instrument decoration, which may speak louder than the music itself and give a personal touch of the performing artist. I incorporated skills that I learned from painting furniture into instrument making. I used furniture chalk paint to create a red and pink ombre color, and then apply glass bead gel to create a ray stencil effect. It may not be historically accurate, but definitely one of the kind in the world. Thank you for watching and I hope that my research and instrument making will inspire and encourage other BIPOC scholars and performers.